Welcome to Kids Art with Luca, the place to find fun and interesting kids art. On this week's challenge edition, I'll be doing the cheap watercolor challenge. All you need to do is find a set of cheap watercolors, cheapest ones you can find, and a piece of paper. So I'm going to take the, the brush first and put some water on each of these watercolor colors because it really helps. Oh, it's hard to do with that brush. I'm just going to use my hand. <laughs> Get them really wet because then they're going to work better. And if they can soak for just a little while, that's good too. Okay. Now, I'm not certain how wet I can get this paper. So I think I'm also going to do that with this. I'm going to get it nice and wet first. <laughs> and then I'll see what happens. Now I'm going to try with the blue because I'm trying to make it look as if... Oh yeah. It's really difficult to wash with such a small brush. But if you just keep working at it, you'll get it washed up into the sky. I'm making a sky up here. That's pretty good. Let's see. Maybe a little further down. A little more blue. I guess I want it to look as if there's a horizon line right about here. Okay, that ought to do it. I need it really straight, okay. because I'm going to try and make it look like this is ice down here. I'm going to put an ice skater down there. All right, now let's see if I can get this a little lighter colored. So I'll need a lot more water and spread the paint around as much as I can. Well, these brushes really are hard to paint with, aren't they? <laughs> it's part of the challenge. A little more up here, I think. Okay. Now, I want it to look as if someone has skated across here. Let me see what that's going to do. Oh, that's going to be too dark. Okay. This is my tester paper right here. I'm pretty much going to use blue until I get, oh yeah, I think I'll get as light as I can. If you roll the brush like this, usually on a good brush will make a point. I'm not sure this one will. There. So I'm going to use it really lightly. I'm going to pretend like he's skating around down here, and then he heads up this way, and he ends up up there. Now I really need to get the, the paint loaded so I can make my skater up there and it doesn't make him just melt into the sky. I'm going to let it dry just for a little minute. Now, now that it's dried a little bit, I'm going to try and put in that one line. But at first I'm going to try and put my skater up there, I think. What should I draw him? I'll put him in. Hmm. Yes. I'll make him dark blue too. Okay. Oh, this is really sticky now. All right, I'm going to put him right about up here, and he's going to be leaning a little bit. Oh, this is difficult to let's get a little wet at the top. There. Pull a little bit of it out as if he's there. Now, we need to give him a head. To get this clean. I guess you can have it. It's pretty bright orange, isn't it? Yeah. Put a little yellow in it. Getting better. Okay. Now I'm gonna just give him one little dab. Hope it and hope he doesn't get run into the blue. Okay, now I'm going to give him a hat. <laughs> I guess he's got a big hat. 
Oh my, he really has a big hat. <laughs> Maybe I better make him bigger. <laughs> Looks like a little kid now. That's kind of good. All right. And he needs. See if I can lift some of that water out of there. Okay. And he definitely needs skates. How do you think they should be? black. Oops, pretty wide. I'm going to try this end. See if I can get a thinner line. Yeah. Okay. He looks like he's skiing. <laughs> hmm. He really has a big hat. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll give him another. There. No. <laughs> His hat's not so overwhelming. All right, now I'm going to try and put a thin line back in here where the where his skate would have gone, where his trail would be. See if I can come from where he is. Looks like he's just gone across. Afraid if I get it too wet, it's going to just fade out. We'll see. All right, and now we need a line across the horizon. Let's see if we can where the edge of the ice is. Okay. If you did this challenge, I'd love to see it. If you'd like to share your project, use the hashtag with Luca.